everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Julie and I do handbag reviews. And if you're not new, welcome back guys. It's so great to see you. So today I am going to do a tag video and I was tagged by the absolutely gorgeous Melissa Adams Wade. And she is an absolutely fabulous YouTube content creator. She has a mix of mostly luxury handbags in her collection, lots of Bottega, lots of LV, um, a lot of other brands that are super beautiful. Um, she is just fantastic, so definitely check out her channel. Her topic is fantastic, and it's basically downsizing the collection that you have in 2024. So it's kind of a what if scenario that if I was to, if you're to downsize your handbag collection, just to the top seven bags, what would those bags be? And she breaks it into chunks. And I think that this is such a great concept. Basically, what would be the one bag that you could only have? What would be the top three bags that you could have? What would be five bags that you would keep in your collection? And then finally, what would be the total seven bags that you would have to keep? So this was such a fantastic idea. Thank you so much for tagging me, Melissa. I'm gonna tag many people at the very end of this video, so stay tuned. I'm gonna run through the list of people I'm gonna tag so we can keep this going. So let's go ahead and get started with the one bag that I would keep out of my whole bag collection. I could keep just one bag out of all my bags in my handbag collection. It would be my Dooney & Burke Florentine Mini Satchel in the color Chestnut. Now I know this is actually like my newest bag and I know people are like, well, you probably just love it because you just bought it. Well, I will tell you right now, if I had only one bag that I was able to keep, it would have to serve many, many purposes for me just because it's your only bag that you have. So one, it has to be multi-carry. Two, I would like for the bag to be neutral. And um, three, more of a classic silhouette. And also four, just a good size, not too big, not too small, can carry everything that I need on a daily basis. And if this was the only one I could have, this would be it for sure. I just really, really love this bag. Like it's been so enjoyable to use. The leather is just phenomenal. It still has that great, just fresh unwrapped leather smell. Um, just the day, I, like the day I unwrapped it, it just smells so great. It's so divine. So this is, and by the way, I'd have to say the mini size is my favorite size. I did just also recently get the regular Florentine satchel. It's a good size, don't get me wrong, but I think that this is the key Goldilocks size for me. So absolutely stunning, love this bag. And that's why she would be the one and only bag that I would keep. Okay, so moving on to if I could keep three bags in my collection, of course that one would be Number one would be the mini Florentine satchel. It probably comes as no surprise that this would be the second bag that I would hold on to. For one, navy blue and blues are by far my favorites. And this bag, again, it's very multi-carry, just like the Florentine satchel, because you can just, you can take the strap off and carry it as a tote. You can wear it crossbody and shoulder style. It's beautiful pebbled leather and it's another medium size small medium size bag probably more on the medium size for me it just fits so many bills it's just so good i love the mark jacobs the totes i have three of them and by far out of the three this is number one for the color reasons because i think this compares super well with many outfits in my outfits in my wardrobe for sure it's this just perfect navy. I love it so much. And I don't think the lettering is too out there on this one also. So, and in certain lightings, this can pass as black. So there's that aspect of it too. But I just really, really um, am fond of these. So this is two. And then rounding out the third bag, so I'm keeping three, would be the Black Pillow Madison. 
and um, it comes as no surprise this is definitely one of my top coach bags in the collection i did a recent video if i could only keep one coach bag it would actually be this bag so hence why this is in that top three of the faves and it's black it's neutral it's dressy it, this is a bag that i have taken to weddings a couple weddings actually and it's perfect it's just the most supple gorgeous feeling leather ever and you just can't go wrong with the pillow madison i'm really excited for the new tabby 26 that's or the tabby quilted tabbies that are coming out i think they're going to be replacing these bags so but needless to say i really am enjoying this one so it's the black colorway and it's um perfect for me so third bag okay so moving along to if i could keep five bags so i've got mini florentine satchel mark jacobs the tote bag and the pillow madison so now i'm looking at what my fourth bag would be that i would keep <laughs> number four would be this Longchamp Le Pliage in the medium, specifically my acid one. I need a good, good carry-all bag that I can kind of chuck stuff into. This fits a 13-inch MacBook, so if I have to like run to an appointment or go work outside of my house at any point, that can go in here. This bag also just serves perfectly great as a regular everyday carry. It's a perfect size. And I do have a Speedy 30 organizer in it, and that really kind of helps keep everything in shape and in place in the size medium Longchamps. So I just find that, you know, I don't reach a ton for this because I don't work outside of my house too much where I have to take my laptop. However, if I do need to, I know I need to have a bag like this that can serve that purpose. So that's why this one's in number four category. But again, it's not just a work bag. Like I could wear this um, on nice hot summer days all throughout the year. This is a color that I think lends to all the four seasons. So Longchamp Acid or any of my Longchamp topes, but I have to keep just one color and it would be this. Okay, so now we're at bag five. Okay, so this is, this is a bandit. Now I have multiple bandits. Couldn't part with, I'd have to part with three out of the four that I have. <laughs> so I did pick the one that's the pop of color. There's two, but I picked my red one. This is just absolutely stunning. I love the red bandit. Just love it. And I like that it's small. It's my pop of red. It's the most vibrant pop of color that I would, I would be keeping out of the five bags. So this is what it would be. It's nice, compact. This is just a fun bag. And my local city is Kansas, or I live in Kansas City, so this is a Chiefs bag for sure. And I'm a big fan of the Chiefs. This also is for the Jayhawks, not a big fan of them, but love the Chiefs. And <laughs> I just, yeah, I love the Bandit. And sorry I'm saying love so much, but so yeah. She's a gorgeous one. She's gonna stay. And I will say someone asked about if this bag scratches easily. And yes, you would just need to make sure that your nails aren't like rigid. And you know, you do have to be mindful of this kind of leather, I would say. So not that you have to be like so careful with this bag, but it's, uh, it's easily scratchable, I will say, so. Okay, so I'm gonna keep a bandit, so that would round out five. Okay, just to recap, the Florentine Satchel Mini, the Marc Jacobs the Tote in the size small, the Coach Pillow Madison, then we have the Longchamp Le Pliage size medium, and then we have the fifth bag is the Coach Bandit. Now we're moving on to six and seven. Okay, so these two bags are kind of, I do love them both but they kind of move to the back of the bunch here and they are both neutral bags and they're both coach bags. All right, bag six. This is the Carrie shoulder bag. She, if I want a big bag to carry around that's lightweight, this is 
phenomenal. I love the carry shoulder bag. I like the carry line, but I like the carry shoulder bag much more than the crossbody. It's just to die for legit. Like took it shopping the other day and it was just so lightweight. I do love it with this resin chain by Coach, but it's just that durable pedal grain leather. So I just wanted to pick this bag because mainly if I just can keep seven bags, it's black, it's so neutral, and this does come with a crossbody strap. So I wonder if I could just pack a lot of stuff into it if I'm traveling and carrying, carrying it crossbody could work for me. Most of the time I do just carry it with the shoulder strap, but again, multi-carry, neutral color, but this is a big bag, but it is more near the end of my um, choices because I don't carry big, big bags all the time. I'm more of a medium bag carry, but I would want to keep this one absolutely as bag six. Okay, last but not least would be just a compact but very durable bag. And I'm gonna use for bag seven, the Coach Cassie 19 and the signature canvas. So it's just very, very durable canvas. I do like that about this bag quite a bit. And I don't necessarily reach a lot for my Cassie 19s, but I will say that out and about in traveling, these are fantastic. I do travel quite often to Arizona and this is just perfect. I have taken this out, taken my black one actually out like excursioning and sightseeing and you know doing outside stuff. They're just super lightweight. They come with three straps and they can be dressed up or dressed down. Um, but I specifically picked this one just because I do have two other black bags in my group of seven. And I picked this one over my black Cassie just to have a little bit of a variety out of the seven. So the Coach C print is really, really pretty. And I love the Cassie 19 because she's just a little chunky, little chunkster, but still packs a punch. She's a beautiful bag. And I love that you can still fit your phone in the back pocket very easily. It slides in very nicely. Okay, so that is my top seven bag. Here's my mini satchel. She's number one. She's the winner of the seven. And now I'm going to go ahead and read off everybody that I'm tagging in this video. Okay, so here goes. I'm going to tag the handbag housewife, LV coffee lover, David's closet, BVPDX, AKB bags, says what, my pursuit of happiness, Caleb Snell, Nick Snell, Isa from Asia, Jojo's Luck Shack, Dre Loves Bags, Happiness Sparkles, Dazzle Me 77, Kimmy's Closet, Fuchsia Floyd, Chi Sim, The Gal's Guide, Melissa's Corner, Danio Channel, and finally, Yoda Style. All right, guys. <laughs> and if I didn't say your name, I am sorry. I would love for you to still do the tag and it would be amazing if you could and thanks again melissa go check out her video she's the creator of this it's brilliant it really helps you squeeze down that collection that you might have into your top seven and i'm gonna tag or i'm gonna link her video down below for you so definitely check it out thank you guys so very much and make it a great week ahead bye-bye Get out of fear tonight